So, now, come up to investigate this uh, park, which I'm reliably informed has been given in a trust. That's no money uh, to Dundee United Football Club, which I will be investigating. Ah. So, here we go. Let's go and check it out. Right, that's an old bowling green over here, uh, which was getting turned into allotments, I think, or community project for uh, people to come and grow things, like vegetables and that. Fairmuir Park Bowling Green update. We need you to get involved. Thanks to the Dandelion Project, Fairmuir Park Bowling Green is to become an edible garden to allow locals to grow and share food. Brilliant. Come along and find out more about what you can do and share your ideas. Thursday, 28th April at 3pm to 4.30pm, uh, Fairmuir Park Bowling Green. So is that past or is that today? I'm not very sure. But how never Council pick up just moved out there. This is where they come and sit. So they can just hang in a boot. But anyway, see everybody? These these are well used. Look, all the dog walkers are out here. And now we'll go and see where these signs are. I think they're put somewhere. Morning, ladies. Hello. So this beautiful park here is to be given over to football. I do not think so. The football's got enough money. They've got millions, maybe billions. And like, no, this is a people's place. And they're not getting it. They're not getting it. Hi. Morning. Morning. Hello, fellow. Hello. See, so many friendly people here. And they're going to break that. They're talking to our community yet again. Dundee Dirty Council. You better get your act together, council. And are they councillors? Get them sacked. Don't vote for them. Don't vote for any of them. They're all feeding for the same trough. It is ridiculous. I can't stand by and watch this happen. There's a council vehicle over there. What's that doing over there? That's no council depot. Uh -huh. I'll have to investigate that. But at the moment, I'm on the investigation of this park. Right. A couple of wood pigeons, my favourite. Hi, pigeons. Some beautiful trees here. Really beautiful and really old. And you can what happens when football crowd move in, these will all get chopped in. No, we need mere trees planted here. That's what we need. This is ridiculous, man. How dare they? Well, I'm sorry, they're not doing it on my watch. Somebody's took a uh, thingy down. That's an R thing about that uh, thingy. Somebody's ripped it down. Because they didn't want things like that for the people of Dundee. There's a runner years in the park. <laughs> Here's the park. Right, so. Fairmere Park, yeah. Our park. Right, I'll need to go and see where the notices are. Ah, oh, if you notice this notice, you'll notice this notice is not worth noticing. That's what kind of notice it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Right, let's go around these owl trees which are taking a while to put their leaves out. Because it's still chilly yet in the mornings. And even although they're Scots trees, everything's going to rock and ruin. They're not keeping up with the maintenance. 
In fact, they're keeping up with nothing. They're just allowing it to go. And if they're calling it conservation, no. I, I call it laziness. That's what I call it. It's not conservation. Just to leave it alone. It needs to be managed. And I know, because I'm a manager of conservation values. And this park is a people's park. And damn that they're going to get a wah to fuck by idiots while already impinge uh, uh, the, well, the fans and put the away fans and pinch upon our parking places, shall we say, over cold side. And nobody sees a damn thing. Well, I do. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning. Honesty, Linaria and you. So, hey, and however, we shall go and see. Morning. Giving us a suspicious look here. Right. I've not seen any of these uh, signs yet. But we'll endeavour to see them. Wherever they may be. I'm going right around the perimeter of the park so you can see how lovely it is. Even though it's been abandoned by council, it's not abandoned by the people. The people are here in droves. This is early, so you'll see that it's still got loads of people on it. Especially dog walkers, responsible dog walkers. And that's what we want. We need green spaces like this. And this is part of the jigsaw of the climate control. And never mind what they say, I'll tell you, we need to keep this. We need to save things like this. Because when our future grows up, they'll hit the future. Will we be here? Football park. I don't think so. <coughs> oh, I feel angry. I feel really angry. And, and the reason I feel angry is because they're tarting things a while. For what? So they didn't hate to keep maintaining it. And it seems like Hillcrest are now the big thing in uh, Dundee. They're everywhere. They're building everywhere. Well, I want to check out who is on the board of directors of the Hillcrest. Because I wouldn't be surprised if it was Dundee, ex Dundee uh, councillors. And that's how they try to do is line their pockets. And take, take, take. Then I give back to the community. I've got nothing, but I'll give everything I have to the community. They cannot. And the people that know me will tell you that. As long as I've got patties in my milk, that's all I need. <laughs> and tea bags. <laughs> uh, and I'm a patriot, the only best Scottish blend. <laughs> uh, these daffies are now coming to the end of their uh, flowering period. So that will allow the other plants to grow up, the grasses and the wee uh, plants in amongst them. <laughs> They'll not be getting cut to... Uh, well, I hope they didn't cut them too early. Sort of July, August. That'd be when I'd say. And then leave it. So that all the goodness goes back into the grunt. They talk it a wah. Why talk it a wah? You're talking a wah the goodness, man. It needs to be reconstituted back into where it came from. It grew here. So if you want nice uh, daffodils for next year, leave it. Leave it for a week or two and then gather it up. Because then all you'll be gathering up is the husk coat. Yeah. The goodness will be dripped into the soil again. And, or the plants around it will be took the goodness for the husks, shall we say. But no, we can't be done with this. We can't allow such things to happen. It's a duty of care. And as you can see, I care about that duty. As a Scot, as an oppressed Scot, 
been oppressed all my life. For age 13. <laughs> but it's never bothered us. I've still had a good life. Irrespective of what the trends say. Non-corruptible, that's what I am. Non-corruptible. And we shall go and see... Guy sitting there. Sitting on his phone. Look, oh, he's oblivious to me. Sitting about doing nothing. There's your taxpayer's money. And this is what's happening. He should be working, man. Uh, should be working, but he's no. If you're not a job, this is what's happening to your money. Look, just sitting there doing nothing. Got a wee picture of him. Sitting there with his wee pick up, just no care in a jot. And that's what, that's what we need to address as well. The things that uh, need to be addressed. Like the people just sitting there, doing nothing. Collecting a wage. But no give it. That's what I mean about no care. Well, we'll see how long he sits there. I'll just sit over on a bench here. See what happens. See how long he sits there on his phone. Maybe on a, some nefarious and erroneous site. I'm not going to mention any things. Well, he's maybe looking on Grinder. <laughs> Swipe right. <laughs> right, anyway, up here. I kind of seem to see these signs. There don't seem to be any signs uh, mentioning Dundee United. They've put them up, and then some of their pals have come round to come down. Maybe that's what's happened, yeah? Right. I think there's a notice board up here. The pickup's still sitting there. Let me see. See what it says on this notice board. No, I can't seem to see anything. No. There doesn't seem to be any notices that I could see. But they must have been here. Otherwise, uh, the person who came and reported it to us wouldn't have made up a story. So I'll here further investigate. Because it is unreal. The things that are taken off of people. Us commoners. Oh, I'm puffing and panting. I think that's my anger. Oh, look, that pickup's still sitting there. And we'll just wait. So he's obviously not on the phone to his boss. He's not on to the anything. So I'll give it 10 minutes and I'll go do a chop on his windy and ask them what he's playing at. Because it's no PC time, is it? No, it's no PC time. This is a lovely park, though. Huge. And uh, people play here in fo football and all. You know, like the football fields are here. So I don't realise, I don't understand why Dundee City Council are getting over to Dundee United. So the first thing that will happen is we'll stop the ordinary guys coming here and playing football. The Tardy Goal post, post down, they'll get rid of the children's play area, they'll char by the trees down, they'll put a big hoarding round it, and then they'll build or sell a training ground. That's what will happen so that 12 or 20 blokes that have got none better a day than kick a bar about. Eh? They want to kick ass, man. That's what I want to do. And this is ridiculous. <laughs>